Well, hi there, folks. Uh, this is your host, ID Jester. Thanks for checking out my video. We're going to be looking at a game called Inside Blitz. This is a sports replay simulation by Inside Sports Gaming. You can go to their website. They have football, baseball, basketball, hockey, tennis, all kinds of sports replay games. Really enjoying their games very much, and I'm definitely... Uh, trying to support them and their cause and all their time and effort that they put into these games. So I purchased the full version of the football, as you can see here, and also one of the season discs from the, uh, I believe it's the 2015-2016 football season. So just last season there. And so we're going to be replaying a game from week one between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Atlanta Falcons. So uh, we're going to be going a little bit slower here in the beginning to uh, show everybody how the game plays out. And um, I will be making calls for Atlanta and let the computer make calls for Philadelphia. Although I'll probably just let the computer make calls for both of them because it does a really good job of uh, using the tendencies that these teams used to um, uh, use players uh, in a reasonable aspect so you don't get these, you know, the same receiver getting like 20 passes in a game and everything like that. So um, <clears throat> it uses the, uh, how frequently the player, you, you know, was used in a play and, um, you know, kind of calls the game based upon if they're a running team or a passing team or what their strengths are. But of course, you can adjust it yourself and override everything, but we're going to look at that here in a little bit. So uh, first things first, um, we're going to have to cook uh, the kickoff here, actually. So um, kind of a lot of similar similarities in the kickoff aspect as there is in the regular game, but a little bit different. So, um, so we're going to find out here what has happened. And um, what we're going to look at here is the uh, kick coverage play here and find out um, whether or not they did a good job of covering the kickoff or they did a bad job of covering the kickoff. So the kick is a 4-1. So if we look at 4-1, you notice it has a 60 and a slash and then a 4. So 60 is how many yards the kickoff went. And then the slash number after that talks about how well they performed during that uh, coverage. And if the coverage dice is equal to or less than that, then they did a good job. If it's higher than that number, then they did a bad job. So, for example, on this one here, on the 4-1, uh, 1 to 4 is good, 5-6 is bad. And you can see, we actually have bad coverage. So what happens is, um, down here, once we click on this, a new sheet will bring up, and there'll be two results, one based upon good coverage and one based upon bad coverage. So let's go ahead and click it and show you. So you can see length of the kick automatically fills in 60 uh, yards there. And it's kicked off to the five yard line. Now return is a one, one. So again, the first number represents if the coverage team did a bad job. And the second number is if they did a good job. Uh, and in this case, they did a bad job, so we're going to get the higher number. So we're going to get 18 on the poor coverage. So 5 plus the 18 is going to be 23-yard line. And that's where Atlanta is going to take over possession here, first down and 10. All right, so you can see up here we have the, uh, the, um, the field here. You can see the stats here. We have the offensive call and the defensive call, any adjustments and how much time is taken off. Uh, kind of here in the middle section is the play results. Uh, once we get this information put in, then you'll see the offensive uh, play.
play over here on the left hand side here's all the game statistics over here time remaining yards to go um, you know scoring timeouts everything up there and then an important part down here in the middle and this is going to be the player that is keyed on this play um, whether or not they make a good play or they make a bad play which is going to alter again kind of just like we saw in the kickoff whether or not you get the high result or the low result now the computer normally will pick a play but for some reason I haven't figured out exactly what's going on um, uh, it won't choose the first play of the game so I don't know if I'm missing something or whatever but uh, later we're just going to go ahead and do a uh, sweep left and the defensive call is just going to be a starters and uh, mm, we'll put them into uh, there we'll just do that as so you can see any kind of adjustments they might make here and then again down here in the bottom anybody that's keyed on the play so in this case nobody from Philadelphia nobody from Atlanta we can actually look at the fact card here and see um, where sometimes you know you got these blank areas and who's being keyed and blah 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 and it tells you basically with all of this information here on the right hand side if somebody's going to be uh, involved in the play that, that needs to be tested um, so um, again we were going to try a sweep left index I'm not sure what that means so alright so I changed this so now you can see uh, based upon our fact card here we have two players so sometimes it'll be one sometimes it'll be two players um, when we have two players involved well first of all we'll look at the uh, important information so six four so if we look at our inside run it's going to go to um, Freeman here and we're going to look at 6 4 and if we click on this section you will notice there's an 8 and a 1 just kind of like the the kickoff returns so what we have to do is we have to determine if Kendricks and and in this case Graham both of these players make a good play and the dice roll has to be less than or equal to the both of them so if this is a you know a three and a one then it would be unsuccessful because your dice roll has to be less than uh, maybe it's less than or equal to uh, maybe I think it is less than or equal to so one is always going to be a good result for you guys six is usually going to be a bad result um, so since both of these players uh, were successful made good plays uh, Alan is going to take the lesser result here which is one and you can see it puts that information in there and we click the play to say we resolve the play it's going to tell you um, Devontae Freeman runs for one yard second down and nine and then we take the amount of time off it was an inbounds play so we'll take 10 uh, 40 seconds off for an inbound run or a completed pass and you can see now the computers automatically started to make the calls so we're just going to go ahead and let it do its thing you can see the time has been adjusted on that we actually I know why it didn't come up because I keep forgetting to take the time off on the kickoff that's what's going on okay so I apologize for that um, if I take the t if I take the 10 seconds off on the kickoff then it would probably start with a start calling plays so again as the offensive team I can I can change this um, what I will probably do is I will call the next call you know I might say okay uh, next play I'm going to do an inside run before I click the play button because I don't want to accidentally look at what the defense is and then say oh I'm going to I'm going to call a run because they're doing a nickel you know pass defense or something like that so just to be fair I'll call it before I actually do the play if I don't call one then we'll just take the default okay so that's kind of how um, we're doing things here so up here you can see we got a medium pass cold 
And uh, down here for defense, we got nickel and they have a blitz. Uh, so we have offensive adjustments and defense adjustments right now are zero. We have a PR adjustment of plus three. This is a pass rush. So if we get a pass rush result, um, they're, they're gonna get a plus three against our, um, our, our pass rush die roll. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what RZ is right yet, but we'll figure that out as we go. Uh, second down and nine, you can see here. So Philadelphia, we need to check if Malcolm Jenkins makes the play. Uh, so he has against a medium pass a value of three. So one, two, or three, he's successful. Four, five, six, he's not. Budai says, nope, Malcolm Jenkins did not make a good play on this. We're going to look at six, two. So six, two is an X. X means the pass is on target, and unless the defender can defend it, uh, it's going to be a completed pass. So when we click this, you will see down here it goes to a certain player, and this is going to be a Leonard Hankerson, and it's a 2-4, so 2-4 is 10 yards. So you can see, boom, 10 yards, because uh, Malcolm Jenkins didn't make a very good play, and uh, Leonard's going to have a first down. First down. Oops, let's move uh, that over a little bit. We'll have to do that next time. Uh, and so before I click that much time comes off, I will call the next play. We're going to call the next play a inside run. All right. So we're going to switch this to uh, inside. Oh, I didn't know you have to choose left or right. Left or right. Okay, I'm just looking. So you got long, medium, short, quick pass, sweep right, inside left, inside right, sweep right. Uh, so since they had sweep right on here and I called it inside, we'll just go inside right. Okay. Uh, so the defensive call was starters and they're doing a run strategy. So you can see the uh, different results here as well. And now we have to check. Sometimes Atlanta players will be uh, involved in the play. And sometimes Philadelphia players will be uh, the defensive players or the offensive players. In this case, we are going to check on Benny Logan to find out if he makes the tackle. Uh, one to five is going to be a good result, so we did get a good result. Four, one, four, one is going to be an S slash two. So an S would have been a short run, and that will go anywhere from a couple yards up to like 10, 12, 15 yards. Uh, but in, instead of doing that, because Benny G Logan made a good play, um, we are going to only get two yards on this. And you can see it goes in there, gives us the information, and then uh, he did not go out of bounds because it will say OOB for out of bounds, um, or OB, I forget what it says. Uh, and we'll just let the computer make the next call here. And he decides to do a short pass. They did a nickel, no strategy, so nothing involved there. For a short pass, Feather Fletcher Cox only has a rating of one. So uh, in this case, he made a bad play. Four, one, so we need to look at four, one. X again, again, the pass means it's on target. If it's a blank, that means the pass is um, automatically incomplete. Uh, we have a PR, which is a pass rating. We have an R, which means uh, depending on which receiver it goes to, they have to make a play on it. Uh, there's all kinds of different results. So <clears throat> um, there is a couple of these you'll see that have slashes in there. Uh, the one on the left is the screen, or, or let's see, there's a uh, quick pass okay so the one on the left I think is the quick pass the one on the right is for short pass and then if we do the medium or long and there's a split then the left side is medium and the right side is wrong uh, long so uh, it actually re-rolled the dice for us which kind of kind of sucks um, I believe it was a 4-1 so that's what we're going to choose I knew it was an X result so we'll just choose the X result and now we're looking at four, five, four, five is only one yard. Only one yard. 
and uh, 40 seconds off the clock. All right, uh, so it looks like we're going to be doing another sword pass here. Uh, nickel defense, no strategy. Looking at uh, Kinkos Allison. Alonzo, sorry, Alonzo. Uh, sword pass, he's only got a rating of 1, so he was unsuccessful. We got a 3 4. 3 4 is an X, which means it's on target. 3 1 is 5 yards. And we will be just short, fourth and two. Fourth and two on our own 42 yard line. And 40 seconds comes off the clock. Well, now we need to make a choice. Do we want to go for it, punt, or field goal? 42 yard line. I think we'll punt it. Yes, we do want to punt. And I'll bring this down here. All right, so basically the same thing we do with the kickoff. We see whether or not we get a good result or bad. So it's 4-2. Four, 4-2 two. Four, two is going to be 37 and then a question mark 3. They're going to have good coverage on this. So only a 37-yard punt, but good coverage and a fair catch result. Um, and that's what the question mark is going to represent is whether or not the player made a fair catch. He's got a fair check, fair catch rating of two. So one or two, he fair catches it, anything else, and he would not catch it. So we're going to say okay there. And I think my game is moved out of my little recording window, so I'm going to slide it back over a little bit for you guys. There we go. Hopefully that didn't mess anybody up too badly. All right. Looks good. All right, so now Philadelphia, um, we have 10 seconds on a punt, I believe. Change of possession. Yep, there we go. All right. So we called the sweep right. Uh, Atlanta, starters, and blitz. And you can see here in this case, uh, Philadelphia is going to be testing their offensive left uh, guard or tackle. I'm sorry, right guard, Matt Tobin. He was a run five, so he makes a good block. 1-1. One, one. So he's going to go for seven yards. That's how simple this game is. Awesome. Still on his strategy. Again, uh, not out of bounds, so 40 seconds off the clock. They're going to go inside right. We're going to do run. Uh, and we're going to check on two players for Atlanta, Vince Beasley and Justin Durant. So um, Vince Beasley, one to four is good, and Justin Durant, one to three is good. So both of these player, players need to make the check. They both make the check, so they both are uh, involved and both do awesome for Atlanta. So if you look at 1-1, one, one, it's going to only be a one yard. Uh, and fumble, no adjustment. I'm not sure uh, exactly how to, that works in. Fumble, no adjustment. Hmm. Maybe that just means uh, what for uh, DeMarco Murray runs, runs for one yard, third down and two. Again, 40 seconds off the clock. Uh, and what I want to do is I'm just going to look up this result real quick in the rule book just to make sure I'm not missing something. And I'll be right back. Okay, back, folks. Um, so, looks like uh, when there's a fumble result, um, what you're going to do is uh, flip over another fact card and uh, check it out and compare that with the fumble rating but because DeMarco Murray actually has a fumble rating of zero he doesn't look like he can fumble so maybe that's why there's uh, no check on this so it uh, looks like it's coming up to a big third down and two play and um, is Atlanta I'm going to be calling a 
I'm going to be calling a run blitz. Let's see what happens. Yep, okay, so um, it shows inside left for Philadelphia's play. For the defense, which is Atlanta, it did a run. We're choosing a run blitz. So let's see how that works out for us. Um, so middle linebacker is a four. He makes the play. Two, three. Two, three is actually a three-yard gain, unfortunately. So first down. first down by just a little bit. And uh, first and ten back for Philadelphia. And that's 40 seconds. All right. Um, we'll just let the computer make the calls for right now. Uh, so, Paul Wurlo, 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 uh, made a bad play. So, 2-1, two, 2-1 one, two, uh, two, one is on target. 2-6 is 15 yards. First down. First down. Philadelphia. And they're driving. Uh, 40 seconds off the clock. Short pass versus starters and run. Oh, bad call by our defenseman, or our uh, defensive coach. Um, we did not make another good call, or a good play. Atlanta's defense did not. So 5-1 is a R result. So you got to check a receiver. So with the receiver... He can have a rating over here in the top left-hand corner. And so his rating, uh, Nelson Agahor. Agahorlor. Wow, some of these names, I tell you. Um, he is, has a rating of 1 to 3. And so he rolled a 1, so he's successful. 4, 5, and so he gained 8 yards on the play. Pass from Brasford to Nelson Agorlor is completed for eight yards, second down and two. Again, everything's been in bounds so far. Sweep right versus our run key. And we have a two. Um, so we're actually getting a six and a five. So both of them make a good play. Four, five, four. Five would have been a B result, uh, but because we both made good plays, it's a one one yard gain. So it's third down and one. Sweep web versus short run. Two no key players. So it's just a one six one six. And we call a big play here. Breakaway. Um. That's what the B stands for, breakaway, and he ran for... First down. 34 yards. He cuts through the left, back to the right, comes around, 34 yards to DeMarco Murray. Sets Philadelphia up on the 10-yard line. Sweep right versus starter Keys. We made a good play, 3-6. Three, 3-6 six. Three, six is no gain. Out of bounds. So on out of bounds, it is going to be 10 seconds there. So pushed him out of bounds. A second down and 10 um, from the 10 yard line. So we'll let the um, computer call the play for Philadelphia. We're going to choose, um, let me just look at what our choices are. So we've got short, we have run we got starters we got nickel and we have dime we're gonna go with starters and we're gonna key we're gonna run blitz man zone all right we'll go with with nickel zone here um oh i forgot to do that before they actually called their play huh so hmm um Okay, we'll just leave it go this time. Uh, I'll try and make sure I do it better for the next call anyways. Uh, so short pass versus nickel zone. Uh, Croy Beerman is medium zero, so not very good on coverage. Six, so um, over his number. Five, four, five, four is going to be a pass rush. So this is our first pass rush situation. So the quarterback needs to avoid the pass rush. 
We're not getting any bonus to the pass rush, unfortunately. So five, oh, I'm sorry, five, yeah, five, four is a pass rush. A pass rush eluded, pass is incomplete. All right. The pass for Sam Bradford is incomplete. Third and ten. Philadelphia is two for two on third down conversions. Again, I've got the sound on, but I have the announcers turned off. If you actually have the announcer turned on, uh, it'll actually give you like a little synopsis of the play, which is really cool. Except for if you're in Windows 7 like me, and all you have is this stupid um, Windows lady, whatever her name is, um, and she's a female announcer, and so just not real and thrilled about that. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to let the computer make the call. And in this case, it's an incomplete pass, which I think is 10 seconds. Penalty, uh, incomplete pass, yes. So equals medium pass, we call the dime, no strategy. Nobody's involved in the play. And so it's a five, six, so it's a pass rush again. Pass rush, pass rush eluded. Um, and it's to Darren Sproles who makes the catch six, five, which is 12 yards. And that's going to put him in the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown. Sam Bradford. Uh, so a little box will pop up and ask you, do you want to go for one point or two points? Uh, and this is things you set up in the options menu uh, before you start. So we'll just go for one. And the kick is... So 1-1 one, one to 6-4. So this is a 5-6, so extra point is good. It is good! So seven to nothing here, and break the ball, kneel down, kickoff. Here's an action to kickoff. Bring this down in our recording window. <coughs> so we have a two-two, two-two, uh, and you'll notice there are some places behind the slash that are three, some are fours. Some might be two, some might be five, some might be nine. It just depends on how well, um, you know, if you got mostly threes and fours and you had a pretty good um, coverage team, if they're mostly twos and threes, then it's below average. Threes are pretty much average. So if you got a few fours, uh, you're slightly above. If you got mostly fours and just a couple threes, then you're well above average. Uh, so 2-2 two, two is 62 yards, and they do have good coverage, so we're going to get the worst result here. And that is a 1-5, which is going to be 23 yards, good coverage. Otherwise, it would have been a 45-yard return. That would have been nice. Uh, so 3-yard line plus 23 is going to be 26-yard line when all is said and done. And that should take off 10 seconds. And this is why it doesn't call a play in the beginning of the very beginning of the game because I forget to do that. Otherwise, it would be doing that for me. All right, so Melkin Jenkins is on uh, the clock here. He makes a bad play. 2-5. Two, 2-5 five, two, five is a receiver check. Uh, Julia, Julio Jones is a 6, so he's going to make just about every check. This number can be altered based upon if they double team him and stuff, so he might not always get the six. Um, but anyways, it is a one, th one, three, one, three is a four yard play to Julio Jones. So we got a second and six, and that's 40 seconds. Sweep right. Um, neither one of these players made the check, so we're going to get the higher result. Four, six. It's four yards. And number two. Uh, third down and two, huh? That was 40 seconds. We'll just let the computer do it. Sweep left. They did starters and run. So, unfortunately for Atlanta, they did not make a very good defensive stand. 1-4 is 3 yards. Otherwise, it would have been a 3-yard loss. So we did end up making uh, Freeman made the first, first down. Early. 
out of bounds, 10 seconds. Strategy roll 21 short pass. Okay, so got a short pass versus starters and a zone. Uh, Benny Logan has zero against a short pass, so he did not do very well. 5-5 five, five is going to be a receiver check. Over to Julio Jones again. 5-2 is only one yard. That's too bad. We could have used eight or seven yards. So quick out to Julio Jones. Didn't go anywhere. Um, 40 seconds off the clock. Got a medium bass versus nickel and no here on second and nine. Brandon Graham made his check. So even though he only has a two, he made a check. So 5-5. 5-5 five, five. Five, five is a pass rush. Quarterback is sacked. And it's going to be um, four, five. Oh, so here's the sack results here. So minus four. Oh. Touchdown! Sack! And that would be 40 seconds off the clock. Third and 13. Medium pass versus dime zone. Nobody's king or nobody's uh, in the check this time, so it's a one three result. One three is a R checking the receiver. Pass is incomplete to Nick Williams, who has a zero check rating, and that's altered because of the defensive strategy. So it's incomplete. Nick Williams couldn't pull it in and pass. Fourth and thirteen to go. And the time on that incomplete pass is 10 seconds. Uh, and Atlanta is going to have to punt once again. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, bring this episode to a close and come back and uh, do the punt and uh, continue the game. So thanks so much for watching some Inside Blitz here for Inside Sports Gaming. Definitely... Uh, <clears throat> enjoying playing this game with all like uh, all the other games that they've created in their series of games you can definitely check out their website sports games uh, inside sports games org and uh, check these games out for yourself thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next episode